वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल सो गाइड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट दिस टी फिटिंग इन सॉलिड वर्क सो इट इज बेसिकली यूज इन पाइपिंग सेक्टर वेयर वी कैन डिजाइन थ्री डे टी मॉडलिंग पाइप फिटिंग इन सॉलिड वर्क आई होप यू विल इन्जॉय आवर टूटोरियल थैंक फॉर वॉचिंग सो लेट सी हाउ वी क्रिएट दिस मॉडल इन सॉलिड वर्क एंड लेटर वी असम्बल दिस पार्ट इन सॉलिड वर्क बाई यूजिंग वेरियस फीचर्स कमांड सो लुक हाउ वी डू दिस इन सॉलिड वर्क सो आई होप यू विल इन्जॉय आवर टूटोरियल थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग सो हेयर वी जस्ट क्रिएट फर्स्ट पार्ट सो गो टू द फाइल सेलेक्ट न्यू एंड हेयर वी सेलेक्ट पार्ट ओके नाउ वी इंटर द सॉलिड वर्क इंटरफेस एंड चेंज द बैकग्राउंड टू प्लेन वाइज हेयर वी बेटर टू सेलेक्ट राइट प्लेन click sketch normal and here we create two circle from this uh, midpoint so create two circle here okay now go to the smart dimension and uh, here we select outer circle and make it 100 diameter okay now we select this inner circle and make it uh, 80 diameter okay now here is time to make the extruded to this uh, pipe so go to the feature select extruded boss base and here we make this uh, 100 300 mm and uh, okay so here we uh, create this uh, pipe flange uh, not pipe flange we create this extruded boss so here we just uh, edit this one and make the extruded from this mid plane so select mid plane so basically it is useful to make the mirror so we create from this one from mid plane okay now select this face right click sketch and here we create flange for this uh, pipe fitting so we create circle from here and create one circle and make sure it is tangent to this inner circle okay now select this circle outer circle and make it 160 diameter okay so here we just make the extruded of this flange inside so go to the extruded boss base select this one and uh, make it 10 mm and uh, make inside okay so make it reverse okay so here we again we select this face right click sketch normal and here we create one more circle create up to here again go to the smart dimension select this circle and make it 130 diameter okay now select this circle and convert into convert entity okay now again go to the circle select this circle and create circle up to here go to the smart dimension select this circle and make it 15 diameter okay now here we just create uh, eight number of pattern so here better to create a uh, circular pattern so select linear not in here we create circular pattern okay now here it will ask entity to pattern so simply select this circle and here we need eight numbers of this circle okay so again go to the extruded cut and make the extruded cut 10 mm okay so here we just create one plane so go to the uh, reference geometry select plane so here we better to select top plane select this top plane and here it will ask distance so here we will keep 125 mm above this top plane okay now select this top plane right click sketch normal and here we create circle two circle so we create two circle from this point okay go to a smart dimension 
सो हेयर वी मेक द इन साइड सर्कल सिक्सटी एंड सेकेंड दिस सर्कल फोर्टीन फोर नॉट फोर्टीन वी मेक इट फोर्टी डायमीटर ओके सो हेयर वी मेक द एक्सट्रोडेड बॉस बेस सो गो टू द फीचर सेलेक्ट एक्सट्रोडेड बॉस बेस एंड हेयर इट विल वी गो टू द सिलेक्टेड काउंटर्स एंड सेलेक्ट द आउटर लाइन सर्कल ओके एंड हेयर वी विल मेक द कंडीशन अप टू नेक्स्ट सो इट विल स्टूडेंट अप टू दिस पाइप फिटिंग ओके नाउ अगेन सेलेक्ट दिस फेस टॉप फेस राइट क्लिक स्केच नॉर्मल एंड हेयर वी क्रिएट सर्कल फॉर फ्लेंज सो वी क्रिएट सर्कल फ्रॉम दिस सेंटर पॉइंट ओके नाउ ओके हेयर वी क्रिएट अगेन गो टू द स्मार्ट डायमेंशन एंड मेक इट दिस वन हंड्रेड डायमीटर ओके सो हेयर वी मेक द स्टूडेंट बॉस वेज सो गो टू द स्टूडेंट बॉस वेज एंड हेयर इट विल कीप टेन एम एम इन साइड ओके नाउ अगेन सेलेक्ट दिस टॉप फेस एंड वी क्रिएट सर्कल मल्टीपल सर्कल फॉर बोल्टिंग सो हेयर वी सेलेक्ट दिस फेस राइट क्लिक स्केच नॉर्मल एंड हेयर वी क्रिएट सर्कल go to smart dimension select this circle and make it 60 diameter okay now select this circle and make it convert into this so select this one and make this one okay now again go to the circle and here we create eight number of uh, circle for cut out so select this one and uh, make the circle 10 diameter okay so here we create a eight number of pattern so better to create circular pattern so go to the pattern select circular pattern and uh, it will ask entity to pattern so simply select this circle and here we make the number of pattern eight numbers and tick this equal spacing okay so again go to the feature select extruded cut and make this extruded cut 10 mm okay so here we create this one now again select this face right click sketch and here we create circle for cut out so select this circle and uh, go to a smart dimension select this circle and make it 40 diameter okay so here we cut this uh, sketch to inside so go to the extruded cut Select up to next. Okay. So, so again we make the mirror to this flange, to this side. So select this one. So here we forget to add this extruded cut, uh, circular cut. so select this one cut extrude okay so here we just uh, create the mirror to this flange so it is good example in solid works how we mirror this any component design so here we not cut this portion upside portion so we just make it uh, extrude cut through all so create up to surface select this surface 
ओके सो हेयर वे अप्लाई द फिलिंग So here we apply the fillet seven. For this cutout, we just we make. the sketch on plane top plane so it is uh, it will be cut from here so we just go to the sketch and here we select top plane right click sketch normal and here we create circle from this center point okay go to the smart dimension select this circle and make it 40 diameter okay and here we make the extruded cut through all upside so it will uh, cut this portion through all so go to the feature select extruded cut and here we uh, make the uh, select river direction and make through all so here we cut this portion and look the section view for this piping so we create this one and now apply the material so go to the appearance select nickel and here we select brush nickel so here we apply the material to this pipe fitting and now we save this file in uh, our destination and again we perform the action of assembly so we just save this part in desktop so select this one here we uh, create one folder name it t fittings okay and save it t fitting now save this one in our destination so again go to the file select new and here we select assembly and he, here we go to the import component select this part and drag to this on this one here okay so here we just uh, again we make the insert component so so here we go to the insert component select this t pipe fitting okay so again go to the mid command it will ask uh, so select this circular and this circular and make the relation concentric okay again we go to the mat and we make to this a smaller cut out circle select this one this one so it will not proper fit so we just uh, make the mat to upper uh, circle so select and it will um, come to same line okay just uh, drag here so here we just uh, reedit this one so here we keep the relation concentric not co coincident so select concentric so we can move drag upside co in coincident relation we cannot move 
any part it will fix to this component so okay so here we just hide this component and here we create uh, one part uh, gasket so here go to the insert select new part select this face okay so here we just create this gasket so make it normal and here we create uh, better to create convert entity so go to the convert entity select this outer circle and select uh, separately inner circle select this one this one select all this one okay and select uh, this inside circle also okay so here go to the feature select student boss base and make the student of 3 mm only okay so here we create the gasket for this pipe fitting okay and here we uh, re-edit this uh, mate so we just make it co-centric okay now here we uh, sew this first we uh, change the material to rubber so go to the appearance select gloss rubber okay so here we create now here we sew this component okay and just rotate upside so here we uh, make the co relation co-centric relation to this gasket so select this one and make the relation co-centric okay now just remove again we make the mate feature so select this circle and this circle and make the relation co-centric again we select this face this face and make the relation coincident okay so here we just uh, made this pipe fitting so how we made any component in solid work and we assemble this part in solid so just we apply the uh, bolt and nut to this flange fitting so simply select this one bolt and drag to here and here it will select automatically the diameter so we will keep m14 and here we will make the length 45 and thread display so we will select systematic so it will uh, say, uh, uh, make the thread automatically to all this bolt select this one this one this one and this one okay and here we just uh, made this uh, nut to this component so again go to the design library and here we select nut here we select s nut and we select this and drag to this bolt so here we can change the diameter uh, rating m14 so make it m14 okay it will uh, fit it to this uh, bolt okay so here we separately fix all the bolt to uh, sorry not bolt we fix all this nut aligned to this bolt so we create separately all this
so here look how we assemble this pipe fitting nut and bolt and gasket also so it is a good example in solid work to assemble multiple parts threading features and we will also make the so here we just we create the exploded view to this one so separately select all this bolt and here we just drag this side okay now again we uh, here we select done so again we select all this bolt uh, nut separately and here we drag this side reverse direction so drag up to here okay and here we select done okay now again select this t fitting and drag upside okay again we uh, select this t fitting and drag to this one okay so here look how we create this uh, pipe t fitting in solid was and here we create gasket so we create multiple part and assemble in solid was so it is a good example for beginners and learn how we do this in solid was okay if you have any confusion regarding to this design so we will ask in uh, comment box so i will always reply to your comment